We want our teams to be abnormal. How many times do our kids get told to be normal? Think about that. And the truth is, we don't want our teams to be normal. We want them to be abnormal. We put it this way. We want our teams to be so different, they're noticeable. And when you notice them, they're appealing. Be different, be noticeable, be appealing. Because frankly, a lot of teams you play are different, noticeable, and unappealing, aren't they? Do you ever look at another team and go, thank goodness we're not them? Right? I mean, you want people to look at you and say, wish we were that. But in reality, you know what the truth is? About 90% of all teams live in the murky middle. They're not different, they're not noticeable, they're not appealing. They just kind of come and go as the year goes. Okay? Depending on what's there. No, we want to set a court where we're different, noticeable, and appealing. I'll start this one out the same way I'll start the athletes out. Hey, I'm going to tell your athletes this. Everyone in this room should be on a great team. Every athlete in this room should be on a great team. And what I'll remind them is this. And if you're not on a great team, don't look at your coaches, don't look at your parents, look at the mirror. It's up to you to be on a great team. Now, we've got a lot to do with that, needless to say. But reality is, the athletes can do this without us. We can't do it without the athletes. And as coaches, we've got to figure that out. This is theirs, and they've got to take ownership. How that hit me one day as coach of college basketball, I walked in the arena, and what I realized is, I can keep walking out the back door and the game still gets played. They don't need me to play the game. But if they walk out the back door, there's no game. This is theirs, and they need to own it. They need to take it on to be great. Our definition for a great team, great teams reach potential. Great teams and great athletes reach potential. Now think about that statement. Great teams and great athletes reach potential. Potential has nothing to do with talent and everything to do with choices. Potential has nothing to do with talent and everything to do with choices. Because how many times can we think about this? How many teams have we seen in the last three to five years? High school, college, pro, I don't care what it is. Highly talented but self-destructive based on poor choices. We could spend the next hour in here talking about that. Okay? How about this? Alcohol, drugs? Academics? Or how about this? Just not showing up on time and giving a good effort. Those are all things that impact teams. And we want to reach potential. Reach potential every single time. And the best compliment any young person will ever get is that they reach potential. And the one thing they never once said is that they had potential. Because it's a choice.